the revolutionary feminists analysed the cause of women's oppression. All revolutions start with a nice tea and a natter complaining about how terrible men are. For them, it was male violence that kept women in their place. And yet, here's this lot, not in a kitchen. Male violence is apparently fucking useless. Penile imperialism. I'm sorry, what? Penile imperialism. Run that past me just one more time. Penile imperialism. <laughs> That's the best thing I've ever heard. You are part of the Rebel Alliance and a traitor. Take her away! Was the rule and control over women under male dominance through the wielding of the penis. clear way is um, indecent exposure in the street. So you're telling me that flashers, those guys who whap their cocks out in parks and the like, wield any form of power? Jesus. Wow, I really did jump into the deep end of the batshit swimming pool, didn't I? But it also it's rape and all other forms of sexual violence. And it's what? Ah, it's a penis! Wait, wait, it's just a car. Keeps women off the streets, frightened in their homes. Well, that doesn't make any sense. Who's doing all the shopping then? Oh shit, yeah. Amazon is a thing. Oh my god, Amazon is the patriarchy keeping women in their homes with their terrific prices and fast delivery. Hashtag please sponsor me, Amazon baby. Really, it's force and threat of force. Don't underestimate the force. That keep men individually and collectively in power over women. That threat of force that's totally making you not participate in this documentary, bringing it down. Mm. That's the big one, and we started analysing all the different forms that male violence against women took. Hopefully it's not going to include anything completely stupid and or totally unfair and unjustified in being called violence in any way, shape or form, because I'm not sure I could cope. It is pointless to resist. I used to work in the NHS. I was a nurse and I worked in casualty. Impressive. And I there saw, over a period of just a few weeks, how most of the women that were coming in were there because of something directly that a man had done to them or to people that they loved. OK, that sounds legitimately awful. Please, tell us what they did. So you had young girls coming in with suicide attempts because they'd been let down so badly. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? You count being let down by presumably a boyfriend and attempting suicide an act of male violence, even though there are cases of suicide attempts being used as a way to control one's partner, by both men and women. But this black and white, it's always men's fault nonsense is absolutely insane and kind of dangerous. You tell a young person that if your partner attempts suicide for any reason, it's your fault. Stay the fuck out of healthcare. I don't think you're helping anyone, love. All because of abuse, you know, domestic violence victims. I really can't believe you want to put what is more than likely teenagers with some emotional problems to the point that they can't handle being let down, whatever the hell that means, with victims of actual domestic abuse and violence. This shit is not the same. You know, women in really bad situations, and almost exclusively there because of what some man had done. You are beaten. It is useless to resist. Christ, Vader Cock, that's a bit dark. You don't know the power of the dark side. One proposition summed up the Rev Femme's analysis. It was that any man could be a rapist. Any woman could be a child killer. So we shouldn't allow women to care for children. That's your logic. The fact that the number of these perpetrators puts them vastly in the minority of people. Anybody could, so action must be taken against all. You fear-mongering cockwaffles. All men are potential rapists means that... You're a man-hating bigot? When a woman is on the underground or in the street, she doesn't know which man is likely to act as a rapist towards her. In all likelihood, none of them. But she's going to feel like they are and start acting like a scared victim. And suddenly, her life is a lot harder because some radfem dickhead has told her to be afraid. While me, on the other hand, being far more likely to be the victim of any violent crime, just go about my day under far less stress. Because, well, no one actually cares if something happens to me. And if it does, often I'm... As clumsy as he is stupid. 
patriarchy. It doesn't give a shit about men. Who knew? So she actually has to be, as the majority of women are, cautious towards all men. She doesn't know who the man behind her is on the street, so she'll be looking out for the lights of the next house, she'll be putting the keys between her fingers and so on. And only because assholes like you tell them to feel that way. You go on and on about women feeling like they can't leave the house, that men are this terrifying force, oppressing them at all points. When it's you. You are the patriarchy. You just don't seem to know it. So just because that individual man may feel like a cuddly sort of person... You're actually a rapist by default, so fuck you. Uh, she is not in a position to read that. So that's what all men are potential rapists means, in fact. All black men are potential drug dealers. All Muslims are potential terrorists. How are you so stupid that you don't understand this basic shit is harmful to everyone? A man entered the bedroom of the Queen of this country and frankly could have raped her. I'm glad to say that thankfully he did not, at least it's not reported that he did. See, that's it, isn't it? You can't seem to think about anything but rape. You people are fucking crazy obsessed with rape. Yeah, you broke in. Not a great guy. But just because you're doing something wrong doesn't automatically make you a rapist. But hey, by your thinking, it's not that he broke in that's the problem. In your mind, it's a man stood near a woman. He could have raped her. It's baffling that that is the first thing that you jump to. But if somebody as well protected and well regarded could be subject to the threat of violence. Sorry, when did it say he threatened her? And again... The threat of violence is literally something like four times greater for men. Oh, what am I saying? We all know future headlines are going to read, World ends imminently. Women most affected. If not actual violence. Where did it put us all? Hurt dirt. I'm so clever. Yes, everybody is at risk of bad things. Everybody. Shockingly, that includes men, you fucking psycho. The mere threat of rape has an impact on all women. I've never threatened a woman with rape. Most, probably all of the blokes I know personally, haven't either. The only people who aren't anonymous internet trolls who, let's be fair, wouldn't be able to approach a woman to talk to her, let alone actually harm anybody, so they don't count. The only people threatening rape are you and your ilk. If I went around telling everyone that the gingers are all potential blood drinkers, when we all know it's only about 50% of them, I don't get to blame the innocent 50% that don't on the fact everyone is afraid of them. I'm the one who spread the rumour <coughs> <fact, coughs> that it's all of them. Maybe I should take some responsibility for my negative impact on their lives. I'm not gonna though, fucking soulless blood-sucking scum. Love you really. It does not require all men to be rapists for all women to be afraid of rape. No, we've already established this. It requires radical feminists and hysterical alarmists making shit up. It would be awesome if you people would actually come back to reality. Wait, is that an image of the Yorkshire Ripper? Well, I'm convinced one terrible murderous man that is universally despised absolutely prove all men are, are rapists somehow. It was no coincidence that the revolutionary feminists in Leeds focused on male violence. Because you have to focus on something, so why not pick something with no real solution that isn't insane at least, because there will always be some bad men. Then, blow it out of all proportion to you are saying literally any man could do it at any time, so fear pathetic women, fear the men, they're out to get you. It was in and around Leeds in the late 70s that the Yorkshire Ripper was committing his terrible crimes against women. In 1979, he'd already butchered ten women and was still at large. And what stopped him? That's right, it was the radical... What? Oh, it was the police? Well, of course, it was a task force formed of exclusively women... Oh, it was, it was largely men, especially those with boots on the ground. Oh... Well, the Radfems must have done something really useful, separate from the police. In response, in 1980, the revolutionary feminists set up an organisation called WAVOR, Women Against Violence Against Women. What do we want? The same thing as literally everybody else. When do we want it? Etc, etc. The first thing they did was to reclaim the knight. You reclaimed Batman? I am the knight. 
together we can rule the galaxy as father and son. Just the phrase reclaim the night, who were you reclaiming it from? From men. Perhaps you think you're being treated unfairly? Because you don't own the night? Reclaim the night began when the Yorkshire Ripper was stalking the streets of West Yorkshire. And we were told by police not to be out on our own late at night. Advised, because there was a psychotic murderer on the loose. One who, by the way, no amount of silly little campaigns could have stopped. Only actual police work. So there was effectively a curfew on women. Apart from the fact that there literally wasn't, if you left your house, you wouldn't be arrested. I mean, you might be murdered by this singular psychotic killer, but I'm not sure what the fuck that has to do with all men. Among our slogans were... Slogans. Fucking slogans stop serial killers, apparently. Nope. Women demand the right to walk the streets at night. Ooh, ow. What do we want? An end to male violence? When do we want it? Take now? that, men. You've got burn society. A lot of women were just really angry. Release your anger. Only your hatred can destroy me. By the, this curfew on women that was in operation. The curfew that didn't exist. Exactly how many women were arrested for breaking this totally a curfew? Were you not a little bit more concerned about the fucking serial killer? No? Priorities, right? By the control that men seem to have on women not being able to walk alone at night. If no one gave a fuck and were not advising on your safety, I imagine you would have simply said, Look, see, men don't care about our safety. They aren't even giving us basic advice like staying in or remaining in groups. The bastards. There really is no winning with you people. We were damned if we were going to follow advice that police gave us. See, you said it yourself. Advice, you fucking morons. And either... Ask a man to accompany us. Remember, that man could well be a sexually violent man himself. Anyone could be anything. Ooh, that's why we develop relationships with people. If you have no men in your life that you trust, that speaks more to your own inadequacies as a human being. Um, or stay in. Why wasn't there a curfew on men? There wasn't a curfew on women, you idiots. And seriously, if you think that a curfew would stop the crazies, you are out of your damned mind. There would literally be way more assaults as the average law-abiding man can't leave his house and won't. How do you not understand that most men are not only good, but actually spend a huge amount of time doing shit for your benefit? I'm not saying the reverse isn't also true, but fuck me, woman, your bigotry is so blatant and egregious it's unreal. Pen silence grapes? Hens pylons tape? Oh, it's men's violence is great for stopping serial killers. Probably best not to put a curfew on them while there's one about, eh? Why wasn't it that men were told, be at home by 8 o'clock or account for your whereabouts. That was far more important in terms of keeping women safe. No, that is wrong. You are wrong. You are so wrong it hurts and I need you to stop before I start bleeding from my ears. It was very strengthening. We had flaming torches and we marched down the street. Eh? Eh? Nah, too easy. Shouting, women demand the right to walk the streets at night. Yeah, you hear that, psychotic murderers? Stop doing the things that you do because you're a psychopath. That'll teach you. And <laughs> other such. Worthless fucking bullshit? Indeed, love. And it was at the time when um, the pubs were just emptying and so groups of men were coming out of the pubs, a bit beery and so on. We were... These men who were not the Yorkshire Ripper, by the way. Shouting at them, oh, what's this? You felt really powerful. And that's it, isn't it? You want to be powerful. Well... There's ways and means, love. I mean, I've got nothing against protesting, but your reasoning was completely flawed and it makes most of what you did hilarious and very ineffectual. I honestly am trying to help. However we dress, wherever we go, yes means yes and no means no. All right, you fight the power, brother. However we dress, wherever we go, no means no, means no, means no.
There were Liberals who said yes means yes and no means no, but we decided that actually just no would do. <laughs> and finishing with the admission that these bellends aren't Liberals. Absolutely fantastics.